I mean, y'all mentioned y'all got y'all y'all don't got to leave the studio for two years or something. Y'all got to <laughs> enter the studio. I'm saying, what? Well, how many of these? I mean, who and what projects is y'all sitting on right now that the fans could be anticipating, knowing that y'all already have them done? Well, off top, we got Jay Stallings next edition on behalf of the Streets Part Two. Now that's the actual first the first record we ever did with Stalin, his very first, first album. Ever. Yeah, he ever the very first album Stalin ever did was on behalf of the street. So we we made him do part two. So we that we got that coming hopefully the end of this year. October, November, I'm pushing for it. So we got that. We sitting on a hus a hustler album. That's that's oh my God, it's crazy. Then the motherfucker is crazy. Uh we got a hood star DJ drama mixtape we just wrapped up. It's called, coming, this that's coming this year. It's called 56 Months. Um, we got an album, we got a, a album with Fabby Davis, Junior. We just dropped um, one or two singles from it, actually. Uh, what was the first thing? Cry, uh, cry, cry About It. Ankle Cry About It. We dropped that. It was on Revolt. It was on World Star. Yeah, we got another video coming soon from that crab project. Yeah, we got something in, in June that's going to be real crazy. This OJ record commemorating the 20-year anniversary of the OJ trial. Mm. So we got that coming. Y'all gonna love this. This shit about to be crazy. <laughs> and, we, and we got the, uh, the Stevie Joe and Hood Stars collaboration album. Yeah, I don't think they got a title yet. Yeah, we ain't got no title. But we got that, that done. Coming soon. Yeah. And, and, a, and a whole bunch of other stuff, too. We got a live mechanic album coming, which is just gonna be a, a mechanic live wire situation where it's just, you know, us going in. Um, and that's just, the, you know, as an appetizer. That's an appetizer for you. Okay, now. Yeah, we've got a lot of records coming. Do either of you rap? I mean, I see you on the racks on the hooks and stuff. Yeah, racks get out, man. He got bored. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing a lot of just writing for our records. Just, uh, you know, if somebody don't come in and already got an idea, it just kind of speeds up the process. So I put in and, you know, help Ghost right on the hooks or whatever. And it really started off with me just laying them with intentions of having somebody else re-sing it. You feel me? Here's the idea. So let's find somebody else to re-say it or re-sing it. And before we know it, we start putting the records out with me on them. So we said, fuck, start rocking like that. You feel me? Just expanding the brand. Expanding the brand. Just trying to bring some more money to it. And then at the same time, it helps us uh, like the record a little bit more. Sometimes we... We get people in and do records, and yeah. wasn't really, really hella feeling it. So another thing, like <clears throat> with us being producers and putting out albums, that give the artist a direction to go in when we doing our own shit too. Yeah. So okay. kick them on the right track of what we're trying to do. Uh, you two being responsible for sh man, I don't want to put a number on it, but damn pretty much of the work that's coming out of the hitters from the Bay Area. Um, Y'all pretty much is uh, definitely a part of the Bay Area sound, new and mm -hmm. old. Um, when you listen to the rest, when you, when you when you think about the history of the Bay Area, then now, and you guys being someone who have to cultivate this sound, what, is it a struggle for you? I mean, are you... When you try not to sound like anybody else, nah, hell no. Nah. We just do us for the most part. But uh, what what I do see in the Bay is a, a lack of uh, of radio support. You know what I mean? So it's like we making these great records. Like I'm sitting back, or we sitting back watching a lot of dope artists get old. Niggas getting gray hair, all kind of shit. But niggas got talent out the ass. You know what I mean? But because they just in the Bay getting hurt. It's like niggas is trying to find a way to get this shit outside of the bay. You feel me? So we just stay doing us. I mean, I, I ain't going to lie to you. We listen to the radio. We love what Mustard doing. And uh, it's reminiscent of, of shit that we come from. But we just do us. You know what I mean? And, and just pray that all this shit makes sense at the end of the day. What you, what you say? Oh, man. Basically, you, you summed <laughs> it up. Yeah. And we could, we, uh... It ain't it ain't a struggle, and we 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 also real versatile with it, to where we could we could touch different styles. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Whether it be the trap, whether it be the 
the shit that came from the bay in the first place. That, 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 that LA right now. You feel me? We, we could touch all of them. So yeah. the only real mm-hmm. struggle is, like, Brest ain't in, like, the radio support and support from our own city in, in the Bay Area. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, the Bay need to show up and show out for their artists. I mean... You know, these are the motherfuckers that's going to represent you, so get behind these people. You feel me? The D-Lows, the Stylins, the Mr. Fabs, the I don't want to leave nobody out, but these are the niggas that's going to take our words, take our lifestyle, and present it in front of the world. So get behind these people. And I'm watching my niggas that's dope. They struggling. They don't, not struggling, but just not getting that judge to do that they deserve. Because yeah. you know? niggas, that the right motherfuckers, niggas ain't getting behind them. Get behind this shit. Push this face shit over the motherfucking top. And you see, you see people keep taking little shit from us, keep taking shit from us, right. take the words, take the beat, and they go somewhere else and make money with this shit. Making money off And we sitting back like, hey, we started that, we started that, we started We ain't getting no motherfucking money. Let's get some money. The way we get some money, we blow this shit, make this melting pot, boil the fuck over, and make motherfuckers respect what the fuck we doing. Now, when you, you mention radio, you mention fans need to support, um... Is that why radio is not supporting the Bay Area artists? Because, I mean, you know, we all have heard the stories, the Ooh. funks, the feuds. I don't know if you can go there. Um, like but the black balling you're talking about? Yes. That, you know, we we hear it. You, if anybody's in tune with what's going on, you hear it. And you guys being up there, and, and like I said, you making the music. Is that is could it, is one of the reasons why the radio not supporting the locals? Nah, I mean, we we be having these conversations in close quarters, and it it all be just it's a long list of shit. You feel me? It's a long list, but on the surface, I think that you know when you come to the bay, you're really dealing with real shit. I'm not talking about the word real. I'm talking about real shit. And niggas look at that shit like liability. I'm not finna. I don't want to get in bed with these niggas with business because it might get out of hand. I don't want to fuck with these people because... Niggas really in the street. They really in the street. Like, you feel me? Motherfuckers be scared. Yeah. So that might be... It's it's a lot of niggas that's about their business. Yeah. You feel me? That they came from the streets and then transitioned into a a business-minded individual. You feel me? So, if if that is the issue, they need to... uh, you know, they need to acknowledge that it's people who really about their business out here, too. Just because you're from the street don't mean you can't be a businessman, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's a, it's a long list. It's a long list of reasons that we speculate why, you know, DJs or, might not be playing the records. You know, so, but it's just speculation. You know what I mean? We don't hear DJs actually do uh, interviews. Maybe you should start... <laughs> interviewing some of these DJs and asking them they, they you know what I mean why you not playing this or are you playing this or why you won't play that because we need them you feel me and, and and like you said earlier I was a DJ I come from the DJ element where you ain't a DJ unless you breaking something when you playing a new nigga that ain't nobody heard because you got the record we got our rocks off doing that and we helped careers doing that early on now a lot of DJs is just they're not doing that. They're just playing records. You know? Mm. I wish we could get back to some of them all day. When it comes to that, a DJ is just an instrument. It's one part of hip hop. Just play your part. Play the records. Play the play that new record. Find that new dude you think need a shot. Play him. You know what I mean? We need that. Mm-hmm. And speaking of new dudes, I mean they ain't too new, but I mean, yeah, I mean this project has been released right now. That's out. Um, y'all, y'all got y'all hands in. Y'all want to speak a couple? Speak on those. Who you right. got? D-Lo out right now. It's like yeah, you said, D-Lo. D-Lo, we did like two, two, two or three, two, two or three joints on his album. Uh, who else we working with? Uh, Shelf got a new album coming. We got mm-hmm. a few. Uh, mm-hmm. Got a few joints on short new album. Uh, working with a lot of people, all a lot of our niggas. We got shit coming out on they shit. Uh, what else we got, bro? Um, Y'all working with Forty on this next triple? All right, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna put it out there. We be sending Forty so many beats. <laughs> He'll pick one or two of them, and you know what I mean. But it's good. 
was on the, uh, the last <laughs> album. We, we sent you some shit. Hopefully, yeah. pick it. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Or some of it, but it's good. He always know it's good. Yeah, we, we talk to him frequently. He's a good dude. I guess, you know, we just... Like he said, like people be beating us to certain records. Like we'll send him some records. Like we want, we think he need this, and then he'd be like, "Man, I just did that type of record." You know what I mean? So it's like, it's just time with us. We're gonna get it right. We're gonna get it right. Mm-hmm. But shout out you, Fody. Shout out Fody. And Drew. Yeah, he on the, uh, one of our singles, our, our second single, actually, Bay Area Perspective. So shout out Fody. Shout out all the sick with it, La Rue, everybody. I want to talk about this first leak y'all had off the off the uh, Chop Shop too, man. The joint with with Mac Dre. Yes. Where in Dre. the world? How did y'all conjure that up? Before Dre passed, he uh, Dre was sliding through. Yeah. At our studio on High Street in Fairfax, High Street in East Oakland, Dre used to slide through and mess with us. Yeah, you feel me? So we had a chance to do. Uh, do a couple, couple of records, records yeah. you feel me, and we never released them. I think we released one some years ago on the Hit Us on the Payroll album, but yeah. we had a couple more verses that we never released. So, yeah, you feel me, that's where that came from. We put put some new music to it, yeah. put a hook to it, put a couple more people on the song, and, and came out with that. Yeah, and tell everybody out there listening, just can't be able to play that motherfucking record. Because uh, with all these people, with all these people giving back to Mac Dre and Mac Dre, shout out to why KML ain't playing this? We got a fucking unreleased verse from Dre right now. I'm not talking about yesterday. I'm talking about right now. Just came out yesterday. The album came out yesterday. Play that shit. Why shit ain't on KML right now? Man, pick up the Chop Shop two in stores right now. Online, definitely uh, HD. Definitely yep. online Stuck right now. Right. Stuck in my old way. Exclusive, exclusively produced by the mechanics. Entirely. Got a, whole, got a whole lot of music coming too. So y'all, y'all stay fucking with us, man. We fuck with y'all. What's happening, man? It's Kenny Tweed, one half of the mechanics. This is Paul Rack, the other half. I'm cool from Sickness.net. Yeah.